Even if you're not interested in politics, it's impossible you haven't heard of the current war in Gaza. It's a full-scale war. It has killed a lot and will kill a lot. It's apparently a long-term war. I don't want to analyze what's happening between Israel and Palestine. All I see and concern about is the dire situation of the civilians in Gaza. Delaying the ceasefire means taking more lives. It's a matter of humanity and I'm on the side of children. They must leave. Well, I've seen a movie related to this issue. It's about an important war in Israel's history known as the Yom Kippur War. Occurred in October 1973. Egypt and Syria invaded Israel concurrently, and this coalition made Israel on the brink of defeat. A few days later, Israel counterattacks and pushes the Arabs back. This war goes on about 20 days and ends with a ceasefire suggested by the United States. On October 25th, 1973. Israel's Prime Minister at that time was the first and last woman who ever took that office, Golda Meir. She's been called the Iron Lady of Israel, and she, as this movie shows, has played the major role in managing the Yom Kippur War and leading it into a ceasefire and into the negotiations about the recognition of Israel by Egypt. Golda was successful, she achieved her goals, and as this movie tries to capture her anxieties, doubts, and fears couldn't defeat her. Golda movie takes a bold historical point and intends to reveal which decisions have made that. It penetrates to the rooms where Golda and her cabinet and military generals gather and discuss about the strategies of war, count the casualties, regret, and accuse each other. It also penetrates to Golda's own mental situation, her tough times during war, her nightmares. There were two sources to comfort her, her private assistant Lou Kedder in whom Golda had complete trust and the cigarettes to which Golda frequently returned. The subject is interesting and the approach to portray that is clever, but as a cinematic work, Golda movie is mediocre. At best, it's a close imitation of Darkest Hour directed by Joe Wright in 2017, starring Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. The dark rooms, subterranean military places, the inner disagreements, and the difficult decisions one leader should make are elaborately portrayed in both films. In both films, America is considered as a threat, but one who in difficult times might abandon its allies. However, in Golda, she could force Kissinger to accept her demands. Golda movie is not an objective narration of that period of history, but it convincingly shows the tireless attempts of a woman who is in charge of a state to protect her country. Helen Mirren was compelling. Her acting is a mixture of toughness and compassion. The light clicks, the cigarette is fire. Although Golda constantly had fire and smoke around her, she moved toward peace. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel. Like my video and comment on it. I'm curious what you think about my reviews.